Hey guys, it's Abby and today I'm going to do a little bit of a different video for you guys. I haven't done one of these videos since like the beginning of my channel. <laughs> I just, I haven't. I don't normally go out shopping except for like TJ Maxx sometimes and ShopRite when I go food shopping. So I'm not like big, I'm not a big shopper. I like online stuff. Um, and I don't usually have the time, but this morning I had to go run an errand and then somehow I ended up at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> so I spent $52 at the Dollar Tree and I was like, you know what? I love watching Dollar Tree hauls. Georgia Sunshine does Dollar Tree hauls and I love them. And I know a few other ladies that do Dollar Tree hauls and I was like, I'm going to do one. It doesn't matter what I get. I'm still going to do it. So I want to show you guys what I got at the Dollar Tree. Everything was a dollar. There's not one thing that was one cent more than a dollar. It was all a dollar, and that's how I spent $52. I cannot believe I spent $52 at the dollar store. I went into the dollar store not even thinking I was going to buy anything. Well, that was a joke because I bought a lot. So, but first I want to show you my new coffee mug. Look how cute it is. It says Cat Mom. I didn't get this at the Dollar Tree. I got this at the pet store <laughs> because somehow I ended up at the pet store too. And I got a coffee mug at the pet store. Like, I'm like, what, what was wrong with me today? So I'm going to share with you guys what I received. Well, what I purchased at the Dollar Tree. I hope you guys like this video. And if you do, if you like this kind of stuff, let me know in the comments below because Sometimes I just go shopping at the Dollar Tree and I don't do a haul, but if you guys would like to see more of these or more haul videos, let me know because I kind of want to change out my channel. Not, I don't want to take away the unboxings because I do have a few different boxes that are going to be on my channel. Some are a little bit risque and some are a little bit different, but I think you guys will like them. Um, but let me know if you guys like videos like this because I will definitely do more of them. And also let me know what you guys get at your dollar store or if you can find any of the stuff that I found in your dollar store, so or Dollar Tree, or whatever it is, let me know in the comments below. Okay, I'm gonna shut up because this is gonna be long. Two things that I picked up, I have like little flyaway hairs that I keep on like hitting me in the face. The first two things that I picked up immediately when I walked into the Dollar Tree were these pillows. I saw them and I was like, oh my gosh, they're so cute. Do my kids need extra pillows? No, not at all. But I was like, I wanna see those on their beds. So the first one I picked up was this one. <laughs> it's so cute it's a little Boston Terrier it's so cute so I got this one for Scarlett I love it so much and they're soft they're actually really well made I was surprised by how well made they were because it's only a dollar and I mean whoever made these did a really good job so I got that one and then I got this one for Dahlia because she loves cats just as much as I do not that we don't love dogs but we have a lot of cats. We don't have a lot of dogs. But so I, I got this cat for her. It's so cute. I love the little heart nose. And it's just so cute. It's got little floppy ears. Which I find funny because cat's ears aren't floppy. But whatever. It's just so cute. So I got these. So I got those two pillows. Oh my god, these hairs. They're making me itch. Okay. So the next thing I picked up were some dish soap and some sponges. I've never tried these sponges. But I do like the yellow and green sponges that I get from ShopRite. So I figured I would pick up these and see how well they do. You get two of these, which at ShopRite you get three sponges and I think they're normally like $3.69 and I got two of these for a dollar. So I thought that was really good. Um, I don't know if they're gonna be good, but I mean, it's worth a try. And if they're not like great sponges to actually wash your dishes with because I do have a dishwasher but I don't like using a dishwasher. I really like washing dishes. I don't know why I don't like dishwashers but I don't. So I figured I'd pick these up, try them, and if I like them then I'll continue to buy them. If not I can use them for you know like cleaning the toilets or the basement you know. Okay so I got the sponges and then I picked up a little Dawn Platinum soap. This is my favorite soap and the only soap that I use to wash dishes. It's just really good. Like it, you only need like the tiniest little bit on your sponge and the bubbles last forever. And I don't think a soap is really working unless it suds up. So this one really suds up great. So I picked up another one of these and these at the store in ShopRite are like a dollar 
96. The next thing I got are these Airwick stickups. They I've never seen these before and I love like all sorts of smelly stuff in my house. I always have air freshener to spray or I have the wax melts that are burning or I have like in the basement because the basement is kind of like musty and dusty, you know, and it, it's a little bit damp down there. And there's a kitty litter down there plus like tons of other stuff. So I always put like little air fresheners down there and I saw these and these have like a sticky back. So you peel off the back and you stick them on things. You can stick them on a kitty litter box. You can stick them in your basement on the wall. And I just thought that I would try these and see how they are. One of my favorite scents from Airwick the, for the plugins is the lavender and chamomile. And this is the same scent. So I figured I'd try these and see if they're actually good. I've never tried them before. And I just started getting into the Airwick plugins because I really like the lavender scent. Smells really good. Okay, then I picked up a pair of gloves. Dahlia needs a pair of gloves for when she is at the bus stop and I figured I would give her these. And these are the texting gloves, touch screen and thumb and pointer fingertip, text friendly, surf the web, make phone calls. So you're supposed to be able to text with these and if not, they'll at least make her warm you know, keep her warmer at the bus stop. I picked up a big Tupperware container because I love Tupperware. I'm a Tupperware freak and I like to have a ton of Tupperware in my house. And all my Tupperware is kind of just old and I figured might as well get some more. So I got a big one because whenever I do like a big chicken roast or I make lasagna or big ziti or I do soups, I need a big Tupperware container and I don't have very many. I do have one, but the Tupperware, like the actual lid is cracked and it's just a pain in the butt. So I got one of these. This one's really cool because it has this push thing so you can vent it out, which I think is really great. And it's a nice big size. This is a, this holds nine and a half cups and it holds 76.36 fluid ounces. So, or ounces. And it's a vented lid. And these are by Sure Fresh Professional. And I picked one up, I picked a few of these, but smaller sizes up because it said the word professional. And I was like, well, these have to be professional and they must be good if they have the word professional on them. So all you have to do to sell me on something is put the word professional. Okay, then I picked these two up. This is an oil and a vinegar little glass jars, but you can put them in and they have this little, um, the little top right here that, you know, it's like a sprinkle top or I forget what these are called. There's a, it's like a cork inside and you can like drizzle your vinegar and your oil either in a pan when you're sauteing something or in your salad. And I thought these were really cute. I just keep the bottles of stuff on my counter when I'm cooking, but now I can fill these up and I can put these on my counter in the kitchen and I don't have to worry about putting them away because they're like fancy. So here they are. I mean, they are a little bit fancy, right? Okay, maybe they're not super fancy, but they're fancier than just the regular jars. Then I purchased these Betty Crocker soft grip handle scissors for the kitchen. I like getting these because I'm always like cutting skin off chicken or cutting fat off stuff. And I need a pair of scissors for that. And I hate using household scissors. So I got these. Did I show them to you? Here we go. Here's a close up. Then I purchased the Better Crock, the Better? The Betty Crocker measuring spoons. I have measuring spoons, but they all came off their little link and I've lost a lot of them. So I figured I might as well buy another pair because I lost the other pairs. Well, actually I didn't lose them. They're just all over in my drawers. So I figured I'd get a pair that are still together. I got a, I got a box of tissues because it is winter and my nose is always running. I got a box of matches, big those big strike matches, like the wooden matches, because I'm always lighting candles and when the candles burn down pretty low, I can't use like a lighter because it burns my hand. So I got the bigger matches. I got the Buddies Quick Erasers. I think I got, yeah. Okay, so I got two packs of the Buddy Erasers. These are like magic erasers. They're just, you know, not magic erasers. What are these called? These are the, like a dupe. <laughs> are they a dupe? But these are the same thing. And I think they work pretty good. Last time I bought these, I used them and I love them. And I love using these for like cleaning my bathtub because it helps like keep it nice and like crystal 
white. I like using this on my walls because my kids always have their fingerprints or slime gets thrown on the wall or watercolor paint. So I like using these and these are just the um, quick erasers. They're like magic erasers. And then I found these and these are a two in one and one side it says sponge on one side, quick eraser on the other. Great for everyday cleanup. So you got a sponge and a quick eraser, and I think that's really great too. So I bought these. Then I picked up some of these Shore Scents right here. They're like little scent beads. I like to put these in my basement. So I just like to get like a stockpile of little scents like these. And I feel like the beads last longer than just one of those like regular ones that have like you open the lid and it has like a long, like a big smelly thing in the inside but it dries up and it shrivels these last longer in my opinion so i bought a few of these in different scents to put in my basement because i just don't like the smell of a damp basement especially in the summer in the summer my basement it's just a it's just like there's like a musty smell in there and we, we live in an older home and i just feel like it's like a musty smell i don't know if it's just me but i feel like it is i bought a few of these and i'll just and they smell really good. I'll just put them in the storage downstairs in my basement and take one out every once, every once in a while when I need to when these are gone. Then I got a big measuring cup because I'm always measuring big measurements of flour and I always need four cups and then I have to go get, I have to do it twice. So instead of doing it twice, I can just pour everything in here and get four cups. So we got this. I got the cutest little cutting board right here. I like to use smaller cutting boards for like fruit salad and you know, that kind of stuff. So I got another one right here. Here's some more Tupperware. This one is um, 35 ounces and you can put four cups of anything in here. So I got this one, I thought this would be good. I wanted to get something to put my flour in so I didn't always have my flour in a big bag but I didn't find anything that would like fit a big amount of flour that would look cute on my counter. Um, so I just decided to pick one of these up because I can always use more Tupperware and I don't have a size like this and it actually looks pretty nice and it says professional. So, sold. Okay, then I found this cute little jar right here. This is, I don't, I mean, it's just so cute. It has a place right here that you could put a label on and I have like little chalkboard stickers and they're the exact same size and length of this. So I'm going to put sugar on there and I'm going to put sugar in here and it's so cute. It's just so cute. So instead of just having like, you know, your sugar and something that's not cute, you can put it in here and it will look so cute. But look how cute that is. Isn't that adorable? And I love the lid. So I have that. Here are some more of the little smelly beads. I have cherry blossom and then I have the lavender right here. So I have a few of those. I picked up some shampoo for Scarlett because she loves to, when she takes a bath, she loves to put like tons of bubbles in the bath. And shampoo, I, when I, I always pick up like the big VO5s and I let her use them um, and do whatever she wants with the bubbles, I don't care. So I'm like, here, dump the whole thing in there, have fun. They didn't have very much stuff for beauty, but I, there was a few things, but they didn't have a lot. But I did end up picking up some toothbrushes because you always need toothbrushes. You just, you do, you always need toothbrushes. I also got these retinol cleansing cloth, cloths, cleansing wipes. They're right here, they're makeup removers. I have used these before, they're not that great, but I do like to put my cellar water on my makeup wipes anyway to take my makeup off so that's what I'll do for these and I bought an extra one which I don't know where it is it probably fell out, my, fell out in my car so I can put them in my recording area because sometimes I will forget to put something near my recording area so that I can take swatches off my hands then I picked up the Dove Intensive Cream and this is a really great body cream it is thick and luxurious and it keeps your skin really soft this is the unscented cream and I really like this cream I'm not going to open it and show you guys this yet because I already have one that's open but it comes with a save to seal and this the whole entire thing is filled with this cream and it's just a really thick body cream and I love this cream so much. I also got some spices. I think the Dollar Store or the Dollar Tree is a really great place to get seasonings for your house. Seasonings can be super expensive and I don't mind picking up certain ones at the Dollar Tree. There are certain like taco seasonings and cumin and um, 
like basil and oregano, those kind of seasonings. I don't normally pick those up at the Dollar Tree just because I wanna make sure they're super fresh. But these I don't mind. So I got a crushed red pepper because my twin sister, when she comes here, she likes, when we if we order pizza, she likes to put the red peppers on our pizza. So I always like to make sure I have some. And then I picked up this garlic and herbs all-purpose seasoning. It's rustic Tuscan style. And this is by Kings Ford. I actually think this is like a barbecue company, but I decided to pick this one up because I've never tried this. And I love trying out like new seasonings on chicken or steak. And then I picked these up and these are the sea salt and peppercorn grinders. And I love having pepper and salt grinders. They're like my favorite thing to have to put on the table. And if you need salt, just, I don't know, I grew up with my grandfather always having like a pepper and salt grinder. And ever since I was little, I just think of my grandparents. So whenever I go out to get pepper or salt, I always get them in grinders. So I got a big thing of rice right here. This is the Pampa long grain white rice. I love having rice on hand. I just, if my house doesn't have rice in it, I feel like my cupboards are bare. That's how I feel. I always make rice with a lot of things. If we're making tacos or burritos, we have rice made. If we're making chicken, rice is made. If we're making steak, we have rice. I like to make, I like to make stir fry rice. I just, I love rice. My favorite, my favorite rice is jasmine rice, but they didn't have any jasmine rice. It has such a wonderful scent to it and I love it. But they only had the white rice and I'm okay with that. All right, so the next thing are these multi-purpose clips. I like to use these for my chips and I needed more. These break very easily, but I was okay with getting them because I mean, they were only a dollar. Okay, the next two things I got are these and these are just oven mitts. A lot of my oven mitts have like burned fingers on them. There's holes and it was time for me to get new ones. I don't know how these are gonna hold up, but they don't feel very bad when you put your hand in there. They don't feel like scratchy. They're pretty soft. They're made by home collection. So I just got gray because we have a black stove and a black dishwasher and we have like silver. We have like the silver knobs on our cabinet. So I just figured gray is neutral and I would just be fine with that. I mean, there was like pink and purple and stuff, but I didn't want pink or purple in my kitchen. Also purchased three LED light bulbs because you can't go wrong with LED light bulbs. And they say that you can save a lot of money by going with LD lights. And Ener estimated energy cost is only 96 cents a year. So we have these. I purchased these two bowls with lids on them. I really like to get any kind of bowls with lids. It's just easy to store leftovers in your refrigerator with these. And then you can just put them on top of one another. You don't have to worry about stuff spilling out. I really love bowls with lids. They're like my favorite thing ever. So I got two bowls with lids. And these are by, I don't know, I don't know, but the glass is microwavable, micro, microwavable. Then I purchased two of the Swiss Miss Classic Marshmallow Hot Cocoa. My kids love hot cocoa and I like to make it for them. And we usually put bigger marshmallows in here because the small ones just don't cut it, but we do like this brand, so. I bought it. Two cans of star kissed chunk light tuna fish. My husband really likes tuna fish. So I just purchased tuna fish cause I was gonna buy it at ShopRite anyway. And at ShopRite, these are like $1.29. So I was like, all right, I'll get these. Um, and I don't eat tuna fish, but my husband does. So he'll eat these. I also bought a, I bought two, oh my goodness, this hair and I'm eating it. I bought two two packs of washcloths. It's time to buy new washcloths. I've been just dragging my feet on it. So I got a pair of gray ones and I got a pair of blue ones and these aren't bad. I, I don't see any like of the threading being bad and I mean, they're just washcloths. As long as they wash your face or your body good, why not? And so here we go. We have two packs of two washcloths. Does that sound right? I have three more things left and then I'm done, I swear. Okay, so then I bought the Pure Silk Calms and Soothes coconut and oat flour sh shower cream, shaving cream. And this is my favorite shaving cream to use. It leaves my skin very soft and silky. I have psoriasis. So I always worry about like different scents and stuff that I'm using in my products. And this has never irritated my skin. So I just stick with it. And I thought this was a pretty good size for a dollar. So I got it. 
And then the last two things are beauty related. I found these pure ice nail polishes. One is a quick dry formula and then the other one is like a purple shiny shade. It's, it says it's a new shade and um, it's in the color 1424. But anyway, I got ice nail polish in Ipsy before and it's at the Dollar Tree. So I wanted to pick it up and just try it out. I love quick dry formula because I just have no patience for my for my nails to dry, but I thought two of these is really cool to get. When you get one in your Ipsy, your Ipsy is $12, and these are only a dollar for two, so what's Ipsy doing? Makes you think, right? But anyway, I like this shade too. I just, I thought it was really pretty. That has like a nice sheen to it, and so I'm excited about this. And the last but not least is the Wet n Wild, um, Mega Wear Mascara. I've never tried this before. I think I've gotten one before. I just don't remember using it or trying it. So I decided to pick one up and try it because I really wanted to try their mascara. I've never tried it. I heard pretty good things about it and it was a dollar. So why not? All right, guys, that is it for today. I just wanted to show you guys what I got at the Dollar Tree. What do you think about this video? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Do you go to the Dollar Tree? If you do, what are your favorite things to find there? to find there. Sometimes I think to myself, there are some really cool things at the Dollar Tree. And even if they're not like, like the decor there, it's really not that bad. You can really create beautiful decor from Dollar Tree stuff. And I just never go about, it's just too much work for me. So I don't do it. But looking through their stuff today, I was like, wow, you can create such beautiful decor, like home decor from the Dollar Tree. They have a lot of toys there. They have a lot of art supplies. I mean, I just, it's a great store and they get new stuff all the time. So if you like these kind of videos, let me know. Maybe I'll do a haul once a month or twice a month. I mean, once a month or every other month, whenever I go, I would love to hear you guys. I would love to hear if you guys like this video. Let me know what you get at your Dollar Tree. And that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love you guys so, so much. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.